Hey, we're here at GoToMath.com. Click on the calculus. Go to area 3.2, I believe is what we're working on. Which a lot looks like 3.1. Find the area bounded by the curve in the x-axis and the interval 0 to 8. So we want to go ahead and write this down. I see the only difference here is we have a 7 attached. Okay, so remember we're finding the area of the shaded region from 0 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, as you can see. Alright, so let's go over to the whiteboard. If I can figure out where it's at. There it is. Alright, so we won't need to break this up because it looks like all the shaded region is above the x-axis, so that's good. However, we will need to do something additional here. We'll go ahead and put a parentheses around everything and then a dx. All right. <clears throat> um, hmm. So this part up here, okay, we're going to need to multiply that out because we don't know any techniques right now. So we have x times x is x squared minus 6x minus 6x and then minus 6 times minus 6 is plus 36. So we end up with x squared minus 12x plus 36. So as you can see here, that'll be this top part. And then of course it's divided by 6. We can actually we want, I guess, we can, so this is x squared over 6 minus, and 6 actually goes into 12, so that's nice, so that'd be 2x, right, 6 goes into 12 two times, <clears throat> and then another good thing is 6 goes into 36 six times, and then of course we've got the plus 7 out here. I guess I better go ahead and write the rest of it. And then the dx. We can actually even simplify this down even more by 0 to 8. We might as well do that. But we actually take the integral. We've got uh, minus 2x and 6 plus 7 is 13. All right, and I, I guess I'll go ahead and put a parentheses around that. We can now go ahead and take the integral. So we have add 1 to the exponent. That makes that a 3. Put 3 down into the denominator, but 6 times 3 is 18. So we'll go ahead and do that. We have add 1, so that's going to be a 2. But when we put 2 down into the denominator, 2 over 2 cancels out. And we're just left with x squared and then plus 13x. And we're going from 0 to 8. So we can go ahead now. Let's define that a little better. Go ahead and plug the 8 in. So we got 8 cubed over 18 minus 8 squared plus 13 times 8 minus. And of course, if we plug the 0 in, you get 0, 0, and 0. So everything is actually 0. All right, we'll leave it at that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just continue this right up here. So they want an exact value here. An exact value. All right? So hopefully you can do that. We got 8 thirds divided by 18 minus 64 plus 13 times 8. And I'm getting 616 over 9. 616 over 9 after you simplify and everything. So, uh, uh, 616 over 9. All right, well, that's what the script shows also, so I'll bet that's it. Okay. All right, you want to come on over, go to math.com, practice that, and maybe I'll see you there.